Welcome back everybody. I am Nate. Uh, hopefully you saw my last three videos. Um, the one about making the Very Berry Margarita and the other two of the Terramana Blanco and Reposada reviews. Well, today we're going to do a similar video like the Very Berry Margarita. We're actually going to be making another mixed drink I like to call Ocean Breeze. So, the first step of this is we need to make some ice cubes. Um, I know you're thinking, oh, okay, put some water in the ice tray and throw it in the freezer. Uh, similar concept, but we're actually going to be putting orange juice and cranberry juice into the ice tray and throwing it in the freezer. So the after look will be an orange ice cube and a cranberry ice cube. Now I did wash my hands, so don't worry uh, if you're thinking I'm touching with dirty hands. Um, but yes, an orange ice cube and a cranberry ice cube. Those will be used for our after product when we put it in our glass. Um, we still will use uh, traditional ice cubes for our shaker to get everything cold and mixed up. Um, so after we make our ice and making sure it's, it's frozen, we're going to cut up our garnishment using an orange. So we're going to make an orange wheel like such. Here we go. So let's throw this to the side for now. Give that a, I know you didn't see it on the camera, but we will go ahead and give a good slice. It's kind of like an orange wedge, but almost an orange wheel. So the next thing we're going to do is grab our shaker. We're going to throw our traditional ice cubes in there. Mix everything in there. That'd be a lot easier, right? So after we do that, our next step is to add three ounces of Terramana Blanco tequila, as shown here. Um, I did buy this bottle today and I have killed quite a bit of it, but no worries there. So this shot glass is roughly two ounces up to the label. So we're going to go up to the label once, throw that in there, and then about halfway to get our um, three ounces. There we go. Tap it against the side so we're not wasting any tequila. Go ahead and put that shot glass to the side, recap our bottle. Now the next step, we are going to use pineapple juice. Any type of pineapple juice will uh, will do. I like to use the dull pineapple juice. Give it a little bit of a shake, make sure everything's mixed. And then we're going to add a splash. I know you're thinking a splash, well is that a little bit, is that a lot? Um, it's all up to you. I like to do a splash-ish if uh, that makes sense. So we'll go ahead and do a splash-ish. And yes, now what we will do, we will cap our, whoops, that's still wet from washing it. We'll cap our shaker and shake that up really well. 15, 20 seconds, a little longer, a little less. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe um, to my videos, my channel. And also, if you would like, follow me on Instagram at nate.wizar. That is N-A-T-E dot H-U-I-Z-A-R. I will follow back. So, shaking that up real good. We'll throw that to the side for right now. Now we got our glass. We will add our flavored ice cubes. We got our orange, cranberry, orange, and cranberry. Now, the great thing about these ice cubes or these flavored cubes, uh, whatever you want to call them, after a good few minutes of drinking this drink, if you haven't drank it all already, you know, like me, but uh, they will fuse with the pineapple juice. So what I mean by that is they will sort of bleed out and add a little bit more extra flavor. So you will get that hint of orange, you will get that hint of uh, cranberry juice that is frozen and it makes a very, very nice refreshing drink. So let's uncap our shaker. Go ahead and uh, pour that in there over the top of our cubes. Give it a good shake. And voila, we have made our ocean breeze drink. We'll add our final touches, which is our orange wheel. And voila, we have our orange breeze. Um, orange breeze, ocean breeze. I keep messing that up for some reason. That's because there's a lot of orange going on and a lot of um, different things. But this is a fabulous drink. Uh, I have made this drink before using Don Julio Blanco. Um, 
not knocking Don Julio Blanco at all. It's just I didn't have that at the moment. So I tried it out with the Terramana Blanco, and it uh, it pairs well. It pairs very similar. Um, it does have that refreshing taste. We'll go ahead and give a taste on camera so you can think I'm not just making these drinks and throwing them out. So cheers. Salud. Very nice, refreshing. You get that pineapple juice along with that Terramana Blanco. Now, after you get it down a little bit, or if you want to, we can also pop this orange wheel in here in the corner. Go ahead and let that soak in. You'll get all those flavors mixed in. Pineapple juice, you'll get the orange, you'll get the orange peel, you'll get the, uh, um, the orange ice cube, you'll get the cranberry juice. It's all mixed in. Now, you might think it's, it's an overabundance of flavoring, but it's really not. You get to taste all these different flavors, and it's such a refreshing drink. It's almost like you're on the beach. That's why I like to call it the ocean breeze. Not the orange breeze, the ocean breeze. But um, thank you for tuning in, and if um, you haven't seen the other videos, please go ahead and check them out. I will be posting more videos, um, some recipes that I've already used, some recipes that I'm you know, in the mix in creating them. Um, but yes, this and the very berry margarita are... One of the twos I like to make, you know, in the downtime. Obviously, with these, this type of drink at least, making these flavored cubes, if you're having a party or something, it might not fit well because you'll need a lot of cubes. But if it's just you, someone else, significant other, little group of friends, it makes well for a nice, refreshing drink, especially on days like this when the weather is very nice and you like to kick back and relax. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Cheers, my friends.